What's up, ladies and gentlemen? No zoop for you here, and I hope you all are doing spectacular. There's a lot of stuff going on right now in World of Warships, primarily a lot of premium ships and a lot of tech tree ships coming our way. Tons, in fact, so many that it's hard to keep track, and you might not all be aware of what is out there and what is coming our way. So I'm going to kind of help you with that this video. I'm going to show you what is in the pipeline. Now, I can't play these ships. Well, I can play them, but I can't show you video of me playing them. One of the odd little quirks of the way Wargaming is doing things now, so unfortunately, can't show you uh, gameplay. Nor can I tell you my feelings about these ships right now. So, although some of these ships are kind of hot button and I know you all want to know about these ships, I can't say anything. I can't say anything about them whatsoever. So, basically, I'm going to show you some ships in my port, let you look at them, and just kind of give you an idea of what is coming our way. Think of this as like a ship porn episode or something like that. It's, it's just going to be some awesome ships. Well, hopefully they're going to be awesome ships coming our way and knowledge. So... First, I guess we can start with the German CV line, and most of you know that these are on the way. And while I'm showing you these, I'll probably put the stats up on the right-hand side so that you can see some of the stats, at least, preliminarily. I, I'm allowed to do that. So first, on the German CV side of things, starting at Tier 4, we have the Rhine. And we all know how much we love Tier 4 CVs, right? <laughs> well, not really if you're a destroyer or something else, because usually at this tier, you wind up with two or three aircraft carriers on one team, and that really, really sucks. And it, fu funny thing, uh, we were talking about this, or at least I, I saw a forum post about this, and someone was lamenting the fact that after quite a while of not playing the game, they came back and tried playing the Kamikaze R, and they found that it is not the ship that it used to be. And I think aircraft carriers have a lot to do with that. Anyhow, moving on to Tier 6, we've got the Vesser, and we also have the Eric Lovenhart. So, we've got two Tier 6 German carriers right there. And moving up to Tier 8, we've got the August von Parseval. That's your Tier 8 German aircraft carrier. And then finally at Tier 10, we've got the Manfred von Richthofen. And most of you probably know who he is, being that he was the famed Red Baron from World War One. Manfred von Richthofen. Finally shot down by a Canadian. Actually, that is under dispute. They said it might have been a Canadian that shot him down. But they also said it might have been a lucky shot from the ground that managed to kill him. So, don't know for sure, but yes, your Tier 10 German aircraft carrier is the Manfred von Richthofen. Now, that's not the only Tier 10 aircraft carrier we've got coming our way. We've also got an American premium aircraft carrier, the Roosevelt, the FDR. Not the Teddy Roosevelt, but the FDR. And this one came out at the very end of the war. Didn't make it. Didn't quite make it to World War II. Came out just after. Kind of like the Saipan. So, that's going to be another Tier 10. Most of you know about this one. Kind of got some publicity about the same time that the California got some publicity. But this one is here. Here it is. Here's how it looks. It's a beautiful CV. It really is. But outside of that, can't tell you much about it. Sorry. In tier 8, we've got the Impero. It's a battleship. How nice. And we also have the Zarya Zvobadi at Tier 9, which is a Russian battleship, which I'm assuming... Which I'm assuming is going to complement the Impero and be part of a split on the Russian side of things, because here at Tier 10, and I hate to bring this ship up because I know how much everybody hated this ship when it was out, but the Slava is at Tier 10, and it's making its way back into the game. And we can test it, but I can't tell you anything about it. So whether or not it's the same powerful ship as it was before, I don't know. You're just gonna have to find out, or see if you can find one in-game being tested. Now, whoever's testing it can't tell you anything about it, but you can watch the ship play, and you can make your determinations from that. Lastly, one last ship I gotta tell you about right now, and that's the Tier 9 Ludendorff, which is a German battleship. So, Tier 9 German battleship Ludendorff, 
and not much word on this one right now whether it's going to be premium well i'm assuming it's going to be premium but whether or not it's going to be free xp or coal or what have you but that's out there as well so lots of ships coming our way we've got the german cv line coming which you may or may not be excited about we've got the russian battleship tech tree split which is coming you may or may not be excited about that as well We've got the Roosevelt. We've got a Tier 10 aircraft carrier for the U.S. And we've got just a couple one-offs, like a German battleship at Tier 9. So, the, Wargaming is really going full speed on the ship production here. I mean, you can't say that they're slouching right now. There are a lot of ships coming our way in the near future, whether they're tech tree or premium. And, you know, that's a good thing. That's always a good thing when Wargaming puts out more ships, more ships in variety, and, you know, we got we got to have ships to counter the HE spam with, right? So battleships are great for that, and I, I would imagine carriers are as well, although those represent their own problems. I don't know. Anyhow, guys, this is what we've got out there. This is what's coming our way in the near future. Keep these ships in mind just because... If you're interested in one, you don't want to use up your valuable resources when you could be saving it for these ships or your XP because, hey, you don't want to grind the the Russian battleship split. You just want to go straight to Slava. Keep it in mind. Hold on to your XP if you need to. And just be ready. Don't know when these ships are going to be released, when they're coming out. Wargaming will give us more information as time goes. And as soon as I can give you my impressions on these ships, believe me, I will. Anyhow, I hope you all are doing wonderful. Take it easy. Zoop out.